Diocesan Pastoral Center for Filipinos it was established in 1987. It started to serve Filipinos. But when the Indonesians, the Indians, the Sri Lankans, and the Vietnamese arrived here in Hong Kong, then we served all the migrant workers. This center was provided by the, the Catholic Diocese of Hong Kong to accommodate uh, migrant workers who are on their day off. We have different groups here from Tuesday to Sunday. So we have 10 groups uh, being assisted and welcomed here. So we have mass from Tuesday also to Sunday to cater for their spiritual needs. But of course, we provide them formation and education. So we call it integral formation. That means not only spiritual, but also some educational, some value formation. Also there with regards to their health and also for their economic needs. Okay, and now of course counseling is there. We also have the shelter, which is a very good service for the distressed migrant workers, those who are term terminated, those who are sick and then recovering, though the victims of trafficking, and usually other consulates also refer here, the victims of uh, trafficking. So the consuls just would refer them to us. The shelter serves also those who have cases, the police, the labor case, immigration case, or court cases. Actually, at the moment, we have many cases of uh, victims of money laundering. They really didn't know that they were involved in that because they were just invited by friends to register and play the game. So when they register, their ID is being asked and they were promised that they will be given 300. And then later, they were asked to uh, that they picture will be taken. So that's the start of money laundering for many of the cases. We have many concrete cases in the shelter at the moment. Because the police investigation would last from eight months to more than a year. With regards to the shelter, they also have a full program there. So we have given them some training, some therapy, counseling, formation. Those who have problems and they will seek support but also help. But with regards to that, with this ISCOM, our close partner is the Philippine Consulate General. So we also have the outreach solidarity group. We organize to the English communities from the different parishes. We organize activities for them. That means what they don't have in their own parish, we provide. For example, on September 18, we will celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Simbayanang County, which is a church-based a community of the migrant workers. It will be a creative presentation of the different prophets and they will try to see who they are and also what is God's message for the particular country in the world or person in the world. And then of course we organize the Migrants Day and Refugee Day celebration on October 11. So now we are also reaching out to the asylum seekers and the refugees. We have a group already of those involved with them and then we are trying to have a common activity also and how to help. So we serve anybody who comes here, they are welcome.